check it out, yo. I'm chilling with the freak interviews. You motherfuckers gotta stop singing interviews. That's the real vibe. Your motherfucking shit is way out. Yep. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy Tap Diesel here, live at Ring Interviews. Today, I have Proper T in the building. What's up? First time I met Proper T, it was actually at a PJ concert, Peter Jackson, uh, since I was 16 tour, and Ritual. And uh, we heard him on stage, and I just want to share with you what I heard on stage. So Proper T, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you, my dude. So, no, Proper T, where are you from? Where did Proper T come from? Uh, I'm actually, I'm from Stittsville, out in Ottawa, like west, west, not west. Barely even Ottawa, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> grew up there. Uh, and just been doing my thing since like, you know, grade 9 or 10 or something like that. Came up with the whole property thing about a year ago. My brother actually came up with it, kind of off something I said kind of thing. But, but yeah, we're just rolling with it now. Okay, so how were you kind of introduced or how did you introduce yourself to the rap game? Uh, actually, when I was young, I was, I was super into sports. I played like every sport. <clears throat> but I went to uh, Sacred Heart for the first part of my high school. And uh, it was very clicky. It was like, you know, basketball dudes over there, hockey dudes over there, skaters over there, whatever. And I didn't want to be part of like one specific group. So uh, I, just, I wanted to do my own thing. I actually considered doing fencing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, someone was like, yo, uh, there's this guy that goes to our school, uh, Pizzle, what's up? Shout outs. He's actually in Mayfield. Okay. As I mentioned before. Shout outs to Mayfield, too. Um, he used to go by Illmatic Cracker. Illmatic. He's probably gonna hate that I said that. Uh. But um, but he had this 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 rap, and uh, someone showed it to me, and it, it inspired me. I was like, that's the thing that I want to do. And I started I started working on my own stuff, and then a few years later, actually, him and I were in a rap crew together. Oh yeah yeah. What was this rap crew called? It was called the Variables. The Variables. Yeah. Right. yeah. We were just very conscious rap. My girl's gonna love that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we expecting a reunion anytime soon? I, I wish, bro. Yeah. They're, they're doing really well with their band right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they just signed a We Are Triumphant not too long ago. Okay. They're on tour uh, right now, actually. I'm waiting for them to come home because I've been to them and I'm bored at home. But, you're safe, you know. <laughs> but, but your girl's going to take care of you, right? Right. Yes. Right. She's been helping me out get through this week, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, recently auditioned for. Uh, it was for a show where some free song about in LA. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, this is this company called Team Backpack. They're a really big company. They put on for a lot of rappers. And uh, I've been following them for probably about like two or three years. And ever since I started watching them, man, just, just the, their format, I love it. I just love how they bring in artists and give everybody a chance. But they'll put like a big guy with like these no name dudes, which gives them a chance, gives them the views, gives them the fans, whatever, right? So then I, had, I saw the opportunity to uh, audition for it, so I put together a little verse at work, got home, was still in my work clothes. I don't know if you saw the video, I'm wearing like a purple yeah, 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 shirt. Yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah, I just got home. <laughs> yeah, I just got home checking out my purple shirt. <laughs> hey, yeah, I want that, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, I put it in a couple, like a month later, they hit me up, they were like, yo, we, uh, we want you to come and participate, which was crazy. But the shitty thing, excuse my language, the, the crappy thing, uh, is, you know, it takes a lot to get out to LA, you know, so I unfortunately wasn't able to make it out. I was actually supposed to perform today. Yeah, it's a shame. Well, maybe you can perform, you know, for us today. Maybe. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, so do you have any, like, uh, albums coming out or mixtapes soon? Yeah, um, I actually have a, an EP coming out. It's called Against the Current. Uh, the, the whole title is, is really about uh, how nowadays everybody kind of, you know, they stick to like the same old thing. You know, they're doing all the same old music. And uh, it's not like I'm sitting there like, oh, I hate rap nowadays. Like that's kind of played out. But I, I uh, it's relative to that type of thing. So I wanted to make the, the title something like that. And uh, we're dropping that pretty soon. Got it all recorded. Just waiting for the, the masters to come back, you know what I mean? And then other than that, we got some videos coming out, I got some singles to drop that aren't even on the project. Uh, and I'm working on my next project right now with uh, Mr. Jay White. I like to call him Mr. Medusa. Shout out to you, boy. <laughs> yeah, nickname for everybody. Everybody. You got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, so what would be my nickname? I'd say 
it'll be Toppy My Shit. <laughs> Get it, Toppy My Shit. That was my next <laughs> single. Keep an eye for that. Just shot a video for it the other day. Oh, man. Yeah, plugs. Plug life. So What's it's up? Not, <laughs> it's not Tap Dizzle anymore. Tap Dizzle's pretty good, though. Yeah. I like that. I give me a couple minutes, I'll give you something. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, where would you rank yourself uh, amongst other rap, like local rappers here in Ottawa? Like, either it's media or you kind of the game a little bit here. I mean, I've been doing my thing, but I'm, I'm definitely like a newer guy. New York singer, you know what I mean? Uh, just trying to network as much as I can, play as many shows as I can, meet as many people as I can, get as many interviews with the homies, you know what I mean? Exactly. Stuff like that. That's really how you build a base in my eyes. And that's what I'm working on right now. So yeah, I'm not like advanced or nothing, but I'm working to get there. And that's your biggest barrier. Right, like Ottawa, you gotta conquer that shit first. Am I like square? Yes. Yeah, All right, square. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Ottawa's a cool scene, man. We're really just trying to put it on the map. It's cool now. Like before, it was a little died out. Now it's like picking up, we got these new guys, we got Fish and Chip, we got Dope Kid, we got Nautic, we were talking before, mm -hmm. you know. Well, shout out to Nautic. Shout out to Nautic. Shout out to, there's so many of them that just cross <laughs> my mind, you know what I mean? I'm like trying to think, like, OMH, those are my homies, yo, shout out to them, they're on tour right now, big ups to them, Diamond, Left Lane, Don't Walk In, <laughs> hey, body, I don't know. Don't worry guys, we have a dictionary or some sort of place you can look these people up. Right. I'm still there. There's a database. There's a database. <laughs> Coming to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say your greatest achievement uh, would be in, and in the future? What would you want your greatest achievement to be? Uh, hmm. I, I definitely, uh, I'd say my, my greatest achievement so far is being accepted to that team back that mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was a big thing for me, something I always wanted ever since I started watching that. Uh, other than that, I mean, just doing work for PJ. PJ's the man. If you guys know who Peter Jackson is, look him up, man. This guy, this guy holds it down for Canada. Not only his city, like Canada as a whole. 